Hallo an Jeroen Vlog, the best in the world. Subscribe. Subscribe, press the like. <laughs>
next one is the main temple in Ujjain, which for was called Avantika. The old name of Ujjain is called Avantika. And it's one of the main Jyotir Lingams in India. So together with Kashi Vishwanath, obviously. It's the only Lingam which is Dakshinamukhi, looking towards the south. It's also related with death, obviously. The south is also related to the Yamaraj. According to the story, there were some devotees and in the mountain called Ratnamala, there was the name Dushana. And he did a lot of tapasya and got the boon from Lord Brahma. He got super powerful and obviously harassed everybody, conquered everybody, harassed everybody. Everybody besides the Brahmanas, these devotees, were bothered by him. So Dushana ordered his fellow demons, demons to capture the Brahmanas and bring them to him, but they still refused. Uh, he personally went there and wanted to destroy the whole city of Avantika. And in that moment, when Dushana attacked, the earth split up and from the earth rose Mahakadeshwar Shivalinga to destroy the demon, protect his devotees. That's when this Lingam was created. Uh, Swayambur self created what the Jyotir Lingams are, these pillars of light. And then the Brahmanas request Lord Shiva to stay there. And since then, this temple is here. It's now thousands of years. The temple has three levels. The Mahakadeshwa Jyotir Lingam is the lowest level. And when it was founded, nobody knows. It says this story with Dushana and his killing is. Uh, probably in Gaurabhaya Yuga, somewhere a long time back. Uh, there's a lot of other temples around. On the middle level or the second level, there's the Omkareshwar temple. And on the top level, there's the Nagachandreshwar temple, which is as only open on Nagu Panchami. <laughs> trying to figure out how we do all our um, <laughs> just a few minutes from the Mahakaleshwar temple there's the Sri Har Siddhi Mata temple this temple is a Shakti Peet Shakti Peets are places where the parts of the Divine Mother have fallen down. In this place, in Sri Harsidi Mata Temple, the elbow of the Divine Mother has fallen. In short, the story goes like that, that Devi incarnated as the daughter of Daksha Prajapati and fell in love with Shiva. But her father didn't like her husband at all. And so he insulted her husband publicly. After that insult, Sati Devi self immolated herself. And Shiva took her dead body and danced madly in the universe his stand up dance, the all destructive dance. Nobody could stop him beside Vishnu, who cut the body of Sati Devi into many pieces which fell onto the earth. These body parts which fell on the earth 
become Shakti Beats, holy places where parts of the Divine Mother have fallen. Not much further away is the Ghat Kalika Temple, which is also one of the Shakti Beats. In this place, the upper lip of Goddess Sati has fallen. Popularly, she is also referred to as Ujjain Mahakali. to hunt and he killed the deer and Horaknath came and said to him well you cannot give life uh, so who gives you the permission to take life um, and then he something the story went like he said to Horaknath if you can give back life to this deer then I will surrender to you so he basically Horaknath re resurrected the deer and now he was in, in a problem because he had two he, wives he had but he was wives. madly in love with the third one exactly Pingala was her name no? yes so he, was, he had two wives cheated on them with the third one which he was really in love Pingala and so he had a problem because he didn't want to give that up anyway Boraknat then gave him a fruit which will give him eternal life mm, young forever ah yeah you forever you forever and he then gave it to Bingala because he wanted her to, to be satisfy. forever beautiful and to satisfy him for a long time she on the other hand took the fruit and was secretly in love with a guard a guard the chief guard and gave it to the chief guard so that he can satisfy her but he was madly in love with, with a prostitute. prostitute. And so he gave the fruit which he received the prostitute. And the prostitute just thought, well, I have a quite miserable life. If I'm going to be forever young and live forever, my misery is going to continue forever. So she just thought, this fruit I have to give to somebody who is worthy and brought it back to the king, which gave it in the first place. And that moment he realized that uh, you can't really rely on anybody or like the love is is not real something like that and he renounced everything and went to this cave to meditate for 12 years he surrendered to Boraknath he gave his kingdom to one of his sons I think no? or to one yeah, some, to yeah, some somebody. close relative well and he did a lot of tapasya and uh, Indra got up worried that Somebody wants to take his kingdom, right? And threw some thunderbolts. Some thunderbolts at the rock fell down, and one of the rocks he just while with meditating, his hands, while, while meditating, meditating, blocked with his hand, and there's still the imprint on this uh, on this rock. So let's see if we see that. And anything else we missed? No. All good. All good. So more or less, that's it. Subscribe and uh, don't forget to click the like button. It's very nice. It's, too much. It's, too much. it's like another world. Me and Shasha are talking. It's cool though. Very cool. Marga. It's good. It's good to be here. It's amazing. Just love. So. Oh, you're drinking happiness. This is some chas, which is like.
खुशी मेरा ऐसा बोलूँ तुझे हर हर मुहासे खुशी हाँ ठीक है हम हम बड़ा टास्क है तुम हर हर मुहासे हर हर मुहासे हम हम बोले हम हम बोले लक मेरा नहीं लक मेरा है जम चाकी पंडे Anything in here? Yep. yep. What? The entrance to the cave where the king is. This is the path where it said a cave which goes to the Chardam, Patrinath, Kedarnath, Gangotri, Yamunotri. Chardam ki yatra hai. Chardam ki yatra hai nikal ke liye. Signifies Krishna taking a guru, even though he was Krishna. Uh, I think he always likes to give reminders. So reminder. God is always reminding, so he reminds us what we need to do. Uh, I don't think he needs one. That isn't me saying that Sandeep Muni is fraudulent. He's not a fraud. He is legit, even though the relationship might be a little bit fraudulent. But this is something else. This is Lila, 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 Daddy. Daddy's going back to school, visiting the school. The lingam, which is on Sandipani's place, is actually over 6,000 years old. And they said whenever Sandipani was teaching something and he didn't know the answer, he just touched the lingam and he downloaded basically the information. Shiva gave him all the information and then passed it on to his sisters. And this pond, which you saw, is the river Gomti. Every morning, Sandipani went to the river Gomti to do his ablutions 
and therefore he was sometimes late for the instructions. And so Krishna just asked the river to come there so that the teacher can be always on time and impart the knowledge. So the river came there and formed that beautiful pond, which is called Komti Kund. This is best always to go to an ashram and as you could experience and as all the residents can experience it's always so nice. Hospitality, singing, the, the devotion, immediately food, invitation. And yeah, you can also see how Guruji enjoys it. It's just alive. A bit sad that there's not so many young people who come afterwards, so I think that's quite special to see uh, how Guruji actually brings also uh, quite some young people to the park, counting myself in still in there. We walk to this Baglamukhi temple. It's from the same Sampradaya, from the Nath Sampradaya, where we visit before the caves, from Mahanpur's day also. And, well, it's really nice because Baglamukhi, she's known that she removes the tongue of those people who lie. Um, it's kind of a very beautiful place in the Himalayas where the nine devis are. And there's a deity of Pratyangari Devi and very beautiful Shiva Linga. Like super beautiful, this crystal, I don't know exactly what it was, but... And, well, this is our Samshan, Tapabumi, where it's like cremation ground or where people do their tantric sadhana. And, yeah, it wasn't on the plan, but here we are, and... Now in Karl Bayrav temple. Karl Bayrav is the boss of the eight Bayravs and he's the guardian of Ujjain, or actually they say he's the guardian of the whole cosmos. It's very ferocious normally and it is said that all beings which incarnate have to get his permission first. And well, the story is related to this discussion which Vishnu and Brahma had to decide who is supreme. Then Shiva manifested as the Jyotir Lingam, the, <clears throat> the pillar of light. And Brahma and Vishnu went to see where the beginning and the end is. So Vishnu in the form of Varaha Avatar went down the pillar, didn't find anything. And Brahma as the Hamsa, as the swan, went up the pillar. Also didn't find anything, but he cheated said that he did find something. So when he came back, he was exposed and basically Shiva manifested as Kalabairav and cut off his fifth head. That's why he has also in his one of his hands the fifth head of Brahma. And yeah, like I said, she's very important for, for Ujjain, uh, very powerful for uh, 
Thanks for Mikesh and me are wondering if we don't get any Peshat from Kalabella. Like, yeah. You left something for us. Yeah. yeah. It's a sign. Pure whiskey. Every day with the has a, a bite of special the Shakti beats. Because when the Sati fell down to earth, was somewhere in the wilderness and when people went to worship they were harassed by ghosts and goblins so Shiva manifested as spider of to protect the environment like the devotees that's why when you go to the Devi temple in Vaishnu Devi Jvalamukhi and all the great Devi temples yes. of Kambika um, you will always find Bhaira, a form of Bhaira, which has been worshipped before you enter this is one of the, uh, the you see the nine planet like Shani Dev is in Maharashtra, Shani Port, no? Uh, this is for Mangal. This is his place. There was Andhasur, one demon which Shiva was fighting, and then uh, as he was fighting, he started sweating, and his sweat fell. He became Mangal. He became very strong, and he fought with Indra. He fought with all the devas. Then finally he found out Shiva is his father, so he wanted to go and meet Shiva. So he went uh, to Kailash to have darshan of, of Lord Shiva and he was very happy to go. Shiva said, oh, because uh, you are my son, you will be remembered as one of the nine Navagraha planets. That is his birthday. You know, we drive were in the temple from Manakai and we saw that they gave him a comfort We were in a small group. Goji and I was wondering, would he drink also tea or whatever? So I asked Goji, is he drinking or the alcohol? And he asked him, yeah, no, beautiful child, he said, no, they offer him also cigarettes, take cigarettes, he takes cigarettes, and then he's also good. So all the toxic stuff. When we went out, I was thinking about 25 years ago, no, 15 years ago, I was a small cat, and one day Guruji said to me, please stop smoking, I cannot take it anymore. So, who was my brother cat, I stopped smoking at this moment. This was day two, we go back to the hotel and have dinner. But some of the things, I think I'm gonna have to start to edit these things, otherwise there's no video gonna happen. So, so.